Imagine you're live streaming and all of a sudden there's a build up to a song. And as soon as the beat drops, a screenshot of your webcam turns into an album cover. Maybe it's triggered with channel points, maybe with bits, maybe with subs. Well, you don't have to imagine it because I made it. Okay, so this is what we created. You're live streaming like this and someone goes ahead and redeems the album cover channel point reward. They click album cover, click redeem, you hear the song and then... and then it fades out. And of course, I'm gonna show you the process. All the assets are gonna be available for free. We're gonna be using OBS Studio, StreamerBot, and the Move Transition plugin. All of those are free. If you have zero knowledge on StreamerBot, the Move Transition plugin, or even OBS Studio, there will be tutorial links in the description. And this video is sponsored by you, my subscribers. Okay, so here we are in my OBS studio and this is my actual setup to live stream. What you want to do is have your camera be in a separate scene. As you can see here, I have it on this scene that's gonna be called main cam. And the only thing here is my camera full screen that allows me to use this as a nested scene, basically. I can add that scene to other scenes so I can add filters and have more control over what I'm doing. Once you have your camera in its own separate scene, we're gonna create a brand new scene. I'm gonna call this one album cover. And now we're gonna add our camera as a scene. Go to scene, find main cam for me or whatever you called your scene. Second thing that we need is the actual overlay that we're gonna put over uh, the image. And what I did is create this thing that's basically semi-transparent that we can just slap on it and immediately give it the look. I put a light leak up top here and then I put some dust and scratches to make it look kind of old. I also have the parental <laughs> advisory. There's also a vignette effect all around it. And we're going to go ahead and just export this as a PNG. All the assets that you see in this video are going to be available for free. Just check the link in the description. All we have to do is click plus, add a brand new source. That source is gonna be an image. We're gonna call it um, overlay. Click okay, then click browse to go find that image that you just created. And we're immediately gonna have a look at what it looks like. I really like this look. Now what I'm gonna do is already add this as a scene to my normal scenes. For example, my full screen scene or my uh, gaming scene if I wanted to. I'm gonna add that as a scene, as its own scene, okay? So let's go ahead and find scene. And this one is called album cover. Let's click okay. And this is what it looks like. The order is kind of weird because I need to test a bunch of stuff, but let's open up StreamerBot now. So we're gonna go to actions and we're gonna create a new action. We're gonna right click, click add, and then album cover. Put it in a group if you have one. Click OK. Okay, while it's selected, we want to test the screenshot feature. So I'm gonna go to OBS and I'm gonna go to take screenshot. And here it's gonna ask you, you want to take a screenshot of what? In my case, it's gonna be my main cam source, so it doesn't matter what scene it's in, it's just main cam. And then under file path, this is where it gets interesting because we don't have a PNG created already. So what we're gonna do is click on the three dots to open up a browser. We're basically gonna create where we want it to be. So I created this folder here called screenshot. And as you can see here, it's not letting me open because there's no files. So it actually needs a file to overwrite. But what I like to do is go into that folder, okay, screenshot, and uh, let's say I use Windows Shift S to take take a screenshot of my screen right now. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna click on this. And this is basically going to create a file. That's just, we want any image. You can copy paste any image. Let's go back in to save it in there. Screenshot, and we can call this one just screenshot. Click save, nice, we can close this. And now when StreamerBot is asking you, oh, what file do you wanna overwrite? It's gonna be that one. Now you can click okay. <laughs> I said, okay, a lot. I'm gonna open this just to make sure that it's working. I'm gonna set it to extra large icon. And then what I can do is double click on that action and then test. And as you can see, it took a screenshot of my camera and I can go <laughs> and there it is. So that's how I personally use screenshots with StreamerBot. All right, now that we have our file, what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna go to our album cover thing here thingy scene. We're gonna add a new source. It's gonna be an image. We can call it screenshot. Hopefully I don't have anything called that. Nice. Browse, go find it. You know the deal. Screenshot.png. Boom. There it is. We want the overlay to be up top of it. So uh, we're gonna click and drag it. Nice. So this is basically the look that we're gonna have. Of course, this is the part that if you want to modify the image itself, you can add some filters by right clicking, going on filters, or just clicking filters here. And I can go to color correction, for example. If you wanna make it black and white, just lower the saturation, you can pop up the contrast. I'm gonna make it like that, low saturation, and I want the color multiply here, basically the highlights. I want that to be sort of 
brown sepia sepia what's the what's the name of that that effect sepia that's on every camera there we go we're getting closer and then you can just really bring it in if you have to go can okay, lower the saturation completely and uh there it is old school album cover i'm gonna play around with this a little bit more all right, I just added dark blue as the color add. All right, now we need to know the timing of everything. So let's start by doing the audio. I like to use Premiere because that's what I have and it's kind of simple. Um, I will make the audio available for free, like in the description. You can use whatever you want if you want to create your own audio. In that case, I'm using a file called Kodosan. It's from the YouTube music library, so I believe it is copyright free. And we just want a couple seconds before a drop, basically to get you ready to pose for the, for the album cover. And then on the drop, we want to display the album cover cover couple seconds go by and then it fades out so i found a part that i like i'm gonna drag and drop and basically we're gonna fine tune it until it feels right but this is not the most hard-hitting drop but basically this is what we have and it ends right i'm gonna try to add some sound effects to build it up a little better and also to fade it out Okay, so this isn't perfect, but this is basically what I came up with. I put a bunch of build ups and a bunch of build downs and here it is. That's it. Total length is about nine seconds. I'm going to export this as an MP3. There it is. And while we're here, we have a good indication about uh, the timing of everything. We know that the first kick basically starts here. So we know that the timer is at 2.2 seconds. So what we can do is already add our delay in Streamerbot. Right click, you wanna go to core and go to delay. From here, this is in millisecond. We're gonna put 2200 milliseconds or 2200 milliseconds. It's at the bottom, we want it to be up top. So around here, we know that it takes a screenshot. Now from there, I'm gonna add an endpoint, go to the next marker and add an out point. After taking the screenshot, we wanted to take uh, 190 milliseconds. Okay, so now we're gonna add core delay 190 milliseconds and basically do whatever it has to do. In this case, we're probably gonna just make it appear. So let's go back to OBS real quick and let's group up all of that because we don't want anything complicated. Right click, group selected item, and call it cover. Nice, so I can basically make this appear. That's not all we're gonna do, but we're gonna start by doing that. So right click, OBS, sources, then set source visibility state. That's a tongue twister. In our case, the scene is gonna be album cover and the source is gonna be cover. The state is gonna be visible. We're gonna turn it off after, after the whole effect is done, basically. We're gonna go and use the move tool to do a little animation. There's still just a little animation, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the scene, album cover, the whole scene. Right click, click filters, and click plus. So we're gonna add a move source filter. That's how we're gonna make it move. And we're gonna call this one OG position, right? Original position. And we're basically just gonna record the current position of everything. My face like that is so weird. <laughs> We're gonna scroll down. We're gonna make sure that we have cover as our source because that's what we want to move. That's the that's the group here. And then all we have to do is get transform. Click get transform. And technically it has recorded our current position. So now what we can do is duplicate this. Click duplicate. Call this one final position. You want very descriptive names so you can know what is what. In this case, I'm gonna call this one full screen. So that's the position right now. And then the other one is actually gonna be big position or just big. Since we recorded this one, what we need to do now is select our cover, move this out of the way, and make it big. Not too, too big, but quite big. And then I can just click and move it around the middle. You will feel it snap in like that. And then with big selected, we want to scroll down and click get transform. Now we recorded the big position. Now in order to test this, all we have to do is click on the full screen visibility and it will just bring it back. So that's the animation. It's gonna start, be visible, do this, and that's it for a couple seconds, and then fade out. So if you wanna change the movement, it's on the full screen one that you wanna change. The milliseconds are right here. Custom duration, you can put that at six if you want to, and it should be a little slower. Or you can make it really long, like a full second. I think that's nice. Let's go with two seconds. 
Okay, that's cool. Let's go back to streamer bot and let's do all of that. So delay, take a screenshot, delay, show this source. And then we basically want to activate that full screen position. So we're going to go to OBS. In this case, our effect is in a scene. So we're going to go to scenes and then set scene filter state. This scene is album cover. The filter is full screen and we make it visible. So far, so good. Now we probably want a delay to basically know exactly when we want it to disappear. Let's go back to Premiere here so from the moment that it's it's triggered all the way to the end. We have uh, six seconds. So it's going to be 6,120 milliseconds. So right click, add another delay. So it's it weighted all of that. Now what we can do is copy this uh, source visibility state, the one that makes the album cover visible. Right click, duplicate it. It's going to appear at the bottom. Double click on it. And in this case, we want it to be hidden. So it waited six seconds. It hit it and now we can reset a bunch of stuff. For example, the position, right? We brought it back to the middle. Now we want it to be big while it's not visible. So I'm going to duplicate the filter visibility state here, duplicate sub action, double click, and we're going to make this one big. Cool thing with the move tool is that the filters do not need to be turned off. Uh, basically, when you make the state visibility on, it automatically shuts off, as you can see. All right, there is something crucial that we actually forgot. And by we, I mean, I forgot. And that's the music. So let's click plus and let's find a media source. Call it music. OK, and find that file again. Everything will be available for free. There it is. Click OK. And first of all, if you want to hear it when it plays, one thing you want to do is go to the options. We can see that it's in the mixer now. Go to the options, go to advanced audio property. And I. <laughs> And I clearly wrote this wrong. Msuik, we want to go and put uh, monitor only mute output. That means that it will be picked up by your desktop audio. You will be able to hear it, but it won't play twice. Basically, you can still control the volume here. Let's rename this. <laughs> so we're going to have a source visibility state at some point in the middle here. Let's right click OBS source source visibility state and let's find our music. Boom. It's right there. How convenient. And we want this to actually be exactly in the beginning. So the first thing that's going to happen is that it's going to play the music. But also when it's completely done, what we want is for it to cut the music. So we're going to duplicate that action that we just added since it's the music's visibility state. And we're going to set that to hidden since it appears at the bottom when you duplicate it. So in general, here it is. Start playing the music. Wait for 2.2 seconds. Take a screenshot. Wait for 190 milliseconds. Show me my album cover. Move it towards that full screen position. Wait for six seconds. Shut it off. And while it's off, bring it back to the original big position and also turn off the music. Now, there's one thing that we can add to make it a little smoother when it comes to hiding it. I don't want it to just go Right. I'm going to right click on it. And I believe this is integrated into OBS. We're going to go to hide transition and we're going to click on fade. OK, and we can test it by just clicking on the visibility here. There it is. <laughs> so in order to test this, we want everything to be in their default position or you can just run the action once, but we're not there yet. OK, so we're going to set everything to their default position and the default position in this case, it's the filter on album cover needs to be big. So filter. Uh, let's go big. Nice. We want the cover. Let me set it back to the screenshot. We want the cover to be turned off and the music to also be turned off. Now let's go back to StreamerBot and assign this to like a channel point redemption. I'm going to go to platforms. I have my Twitch connected. As you can see with StreamerBot, you can set it to everything, right? If it's a raid, you want that to happen for a raid, a sub, a gifted sub. I'm going to go with channel point rewards. I'm going to right click, click add, create a new one. Basically call this one album cover. You can put the cost. I like mine to be pretty expensive, but you can put whatever you want. The prompt is basically the description. And then you have the options for the cooldowns, but we're just going to go to actions and add this. It's right there. Album cover. Click select. Click OK. And technically, we should be ready to test. Now, remember, I went into my full screen, my just chatting thing. OK, so I have album cover up top and you want this one to be visible. When it's added as a scene, it needs to always be visible. So this is what we created. If I go to my channel points, we see album cover. Someone's going to redeem it. It's going to tell you, hey, turn Gale to an album cover. Redeem. Okay, there are some 
The timing is not perfect. Let's try to fix that. So, okay, so I messed up somewhere. The beat drop is definitely at 2.2 seconds. So adding this, taking the screenshot is like super late. So we're gonna take the screenshot a little bit earlier. Let's say at 126, so that's 1,260 milliseconds. And then from there, we're gonna put in and out, in and out points, and we're gonna have 250 milliseconds, right? It also gives it the time to save the image and replace that old image, like override that old screenshot. So here we have 250 milliseconds. I also wanted to start fading out at the last impact. So from here to here, and this is 2010. 2010. But here's the thing. So it starts doing the fade out, but the fade out is going to take a little bit of time. So we don't want it to go big and shut things off already. So we're going to add another delay after we basically shut off the cover source just to give it time to finish its fade out. Right click, core, delay, and um, I mean, technically we could calculate it. It just depends on the length of your fade. In this case, you control them right there, actually. High transition at the bottom, you're going to see the amount of milliseconds. For me, it's 1000 milliseconds, so I'm going to keep it there. I like when it takes a whole second basically to fade out. So let's do that. So we know that basically here uh, we need at least 1000 milliseconds. I'm going to keep it safe and go with 1500. And we want that delay to be right after we shut it off. Boom. OK, so let's test it again and then we can see if that's basically the final version. All right. So you're here. You're streaming. Hi, welcome to the stream. Thank you all for being here. And someone redeems the album cover Channel Point Redemption. Redeem. You hear this? You pose. <laughs> Is it too fast? I think you know what? I think it's better if it's a little too fast. Out of nowhere, it just takes the picture, you know, while you're speaking and stuff like that. It, out of context, it's going to look weird. I think that's great, but the timing, the timing is good now. Okay, so this is what we created. You're live streaming like this and someone goes ahead and redeems the album cover channel point reward. They click album cover, click redeem, you hear the song and then. <laughs> and then it fades out. This is pretty nice. I think I, I was scared it was going to be a little too long, but I love it. I love it. So one last time for the people who are going to download all the files, including the sound that I created. So first action is turn on the music, then wait for 1260 milliseconds. Take the screenshot, wait an additional 250 milliseconds and basically show the whole cover group that we created, including the screenshot, the overlay and all that. The scene filter state because the move tool applies only to scenes. We want that to be visible and it's gonna be basically the final position, the full screen position. Then while everything is on screen and probably the camera is still moving, if you have a long time for that filter position filter, delay for 2010 milliseconds. Finally, you want to hide the visibility state of the cover group, but also remember to add a hide transition so that it can fade out or do whatever you want. Then basically while it's fading out, Wait 1,500 milliseconds. Turn the scene filter state back to the big one. And also the OBS source visibility state for the music. You want that to be hidden. So basically shut off the music. And once it's done, it's basically ready for the next one. You add the album cover scene to other scenes. So even if you're playing your game, for example, right? This is my game scene. I can still click plus to add a new source. We're going to pick scene, album cover, boom. It's transparent right now, but if someone redeems it while I'm playing the game, it will still show up full screen. If you don't want it to show up full screen on your game scene, you can always go ahead and basically scale it down, right? It would be unfortunate to miss out on good gameplay because someone decided to redeem it at the worst time, right? <laughs> I think when it catches you off guard, it's going to be even better. With my previous OBS projects, I know a lot of you talked about sending the screenshots basically of the effects into Discord automatically using Streamerbot. I don't personally know how to do that yet. I haven't looked into it, but this is another example of what you can do. If there's one that's particularly funny, I guess you can save it that way. But as usual, I'm just here to show you some examples of the tools that you can use in order to spark up your creativity so that you can create more stuff. If you do create this one, show me a clip, post it on Twitter, tag me in it. I absolutely love 
seeing what my projects inspire you to do. And there it is. That's how you can create an album cover effect in OVS using StreamerBot and Channel Point Redemptions. If you're somehow brand new and you don't know about the Move plugin, I have videos on that. Check out the links in the description. If you don't know about StreamerBot, I will also have a nutty video on how to install it and get it going with your OBS studio. The assets, the overlay and the sound are going to be available in the description as well. I love doing those projects. If you have any ideas, put them in the comment section below. Also go follow me on Twitch because I've been trying to stream a little bit more and yeah, go blow your chat's mind with this effect. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.